what's up guys welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day so far today i'm super excited because i am going to be picking up a car you guys haven't seen in a while and that's the civic i know you guys haven't seen much updates on the channel but today i'm going to be fully updating you guys on the civic tons of really really good updates i'm actually picking it up as you guys can see that's why i have the trailer so let's get started with today's video so you guys can get a full update on the car see what's going on what's next and why i'm taking so long with it but guess what time is coming very soon i'm getting very very close i'm hoping i can be testing uh don't want to say when because every time i see a time it never happens but i'm gonna be testing very soon so um let's go See that trailer? That trailer's for my Civic because I'm gonna be picking it up today. Let's go inside so I can update you guys on what's going on with the car, why you haven't seen it lately, and um, we've got some pretty big upgrades on it. So let's go inside so I can show you all. I'm here at JVR Engines and we've got my car right here in front of me. I'm gonna show you guys some of the updates that I've done and why I'm gonna be taking it home today. So here we have my car. If you guys can't tell, I went with a bigger turbo. This thing is massive as you guys can tell i previously had a 6870 and now i have a 6785 now the reason why i changed turbos was because i'm realizing with the 6870 there's not many classes that i can run in with this size turbo the 6785 it will allow me to compete in true street class also allow me to compete in sport front wheel drive or also known as x front wheel drive class now i will have to upgrade my cage eventually but for right now i'm just ready to get some seat time and really everything's pretty much ready guys like all that's left now is for me to create a new charge pipe because now that i have a bigger turbo the previous charge pipe that i have no longer works and a new up pipe and i'm taking the car to gato performance the person who makes these beautiful manifolds he's located in orlando i'm taking the car to him he's gonna help me with the up pipe help me create this and a few other things that i need to do certain tracks require you to have a bar that goes around the fuel cell that way if god forbid something ever happens this is protected and you can't puncture it so he's gonna be adding a bar around here and again just a few other things i had to do so many different modifications to make stuff work like this radiator we had to close this off we had to close this off and i had to add another bong over here so i could run it straight because previously as you guys can see this would have not been straight and in the inside we've got my seat back in we've got my new steering column we've got tons of stuff i got the staging brake set up and i have the dash that i gotta put back in but the reason why the dash is not in is because randy's gonna be doing the wiring harness is already made literally just need to get this stuff fabricated under the hood and then we can add the engine harness in and i decided to go with a different ecu so that's something else that I have not announced that you guys will be seeing. I changed my ECU from AEM to MoTeC, which was a huge, huge jump. So I'm happy. I cannot wait to get this car clean to look at this. So dirty, so dirty because it's been sitting here, but huge shout out to JBR Engines for helping me guys. I have been extremely busy and I'm so grateful that I'm busy. I'm traveling almost every single weekend to different events. Again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to do so because you'll find out like this weekend I'm going to Chicago. And then I'm going to St. Louis next month. Every weekend, I'm pretty much in another city. So it's so hard for me to work on the car myself when now I am literally constantly traveling for work. Again, I'm very grateful for these opportunities, but I need a hand with the car. There's no way I'm going to get it done when I'm traveling and I literally have four days during the week to work on it. And those four days, I'm doing website stuff. I'm doing tons of stuff on my own that um, I'm officially establishing a team. I'm growing and I'm grateful. Thank you for being subscribed to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. You guys see tons of Evo content that I've done and I'm gonna continue to do the Evo content. So many more videos to come with that. This is the car that I started the channel with. So this car has a lot of sentimental value. And EM1 is what got me really heavy into drag racing. Ran at the track a few times, fell in love, and now I'm creating a monster. Even though it was never planned this way, you guys seen the videos. I've been building this for I believe two or three years now. Time is just fine. I'm like, Wow, I wanted this done a long time ago, but patience is a virtue. I'm doing everything the right way. I've got a great team. I've got great help behind me. And I'm forever grateful for these guys. And I think it's really cool how we literally have same car. So when we go to the track, you guys are going to be a little confused, but you will definitely know by um, a few things who's is who, especially the driver. Jason's a really good driver. 
So um, I'm gonna have to catch up. I need tons of seat time. I've been having fun with the Evo, but this is a whole other monster. It's front wheel drive. Evo is pretty much very easy to drive. We've got Jason here, the driver of this car. We've got Rob. <laughs> Number so one hi, Rob. two in the K-Series Turbo two. World. Can we just become best friends? <laughs> yep. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Here we've got their car and this thing's super nice. So here's a cage that I'm eventually gonna have to upgrade to. My setup is much different from theirs. They have a list of stuff here and as you guys can see, the list is very, very small now and a lot of this stuff is gonna get done by Gato. Take the car back to Orlando, take it to him and then from there, we take it to get wired up. We do our first startup and then finally get to drive the car for the first time in like two years. A lot of you guys are probably gonna be like, yo, this is so much power, am I ready? Honestly, I'm nervous, but I'm more than ready than I ever have. I'm honestly more anxious than anything. This build has taken me so long. I've put so much time, so much money behind this thing. So I can't wait to race it. Evo right now is something I'm having tons of fun with, and that's 800 horsepower, and it's starting to feel slow to me. But again, it's all wheel drive, completely different. 800 horsepower on a front wheel drive car feels completely different. So, um, should be pretty fun. I'm a little sad I'm gonna be leaving the shop. These guys have helped me so much. But now it's time to move on. Um, man, I've been here since pretty much when the Evo broke down. And then from there, I brought the Civic here. They helped me kind of finish it, really. I mean, you guys can see some of the previous videos. A lot of my videos with the EM1 recently have been here in the shop. That's just because I have the help of these guys, and they know what they're doing. They literally have the same exact car as me. I'm new to the racing industry, so I have a lot to learn. I'm grateful to have their help and have them a part of the team. And I can't wait to just go out there and we race together and have a good time and hopefully bring home some wins. That'll be dope. JVR has been around for a very long time. He used to race. Now his son races. Actually, both of his kids race. They have two cars. They have an all-motor and they have a sport front-wheel drive car that both of his sons are racing right now, which is pretty dope. So I look at these people like family. I'm very appreciative for all the advice, all of the help. And I just can't wait to go out there and we have fun at the track. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. This is a fun hobby. We bring home a win awesome but if not it's really just about having fun with the car and obviously competing but i'm just ready for a track days guys it should be really really fun we have a beautiful cylinder head i'm assuming this belongs to dennis dennis i'm looking at your cylinder head and we have all the machines back here we have the owner pepsi who's right here who's trying to hide from the camera <laughs> really good people and here goes their all motor car i'm gonna add some clips in here i want you guys to see the all motor car see his son driving Um, and then I'll add some clips of this because this is actually the second fastest K series sport front wheel drive car out there. Second fastest, first is Rob, who's over here. Let's go talk to these guys. So you have your number two on the list? Number two on the K-Series list. Technically unofficial, was that a testing tune? Does anybody know the crowd? Oh gosh. All the, all the is not oh, the that's true, all the B-Series guys are, are unofficial. So yeah, I'm lying, I'm, I'm number two official. Who's number one? He's number one. Rob Goldie. here is number one, and Goldie. And Goldie. Right? Yeah. Literally. That's dope. There's no doubt about it, Dad. Jason will go seven. I, I know Jason. So tell me the times, because then everybody is like watching. So your second fastest, your yeah, best time was? 806 at 183. My fastest mile 188. 188? That's crazy. What about you? So number one is? So we've been uh, 802, 802 3 at 185. We've been 8026 at 188. We've been That's eight, crazy. We've been 806 at 188. What's your fastest mile per hour? Uh, that you ever done? 190? Yeah, 190 in that car. And then we've been uh, 764 at 191 on no, the all wheel drive car. Shh. Which is the same motor as the front wheel drive car. It just don't have as much traction. Right? Yeah. So we just need to get the traction down. I mean, That's it's, nuts. It's all about short track. The B series cars got a little bit more short track. And 
That's it. You know, we're just working our way down there. But the K Series cars are here. There's more of them coming. Literally. Uh, so it's good. But you guys are both K24, right? No. Yeah, I'm on a K20. He's a K20. You're a K20, you're a K24? Okay, we got a 2 4. We run a 2 4. It's a little bit easier in the setup with the 2 4 stuff. Oh my god, look, guys. Do you guys see that? You saw that? The reflection? No! There was, look, 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 look at the nose. Oh, it's a baby. There's a baby under there. Baby what? Uh, trash can. I just saw a nose coming up, and I'm like, what the hell? Stick it right here. I bet you can see him. I'm, if I, when I move, he's going to move. Can you see it? Well, oh, you, you can't see it. I'm sure he sees. I'm sure the camera sees. A little trash bag. Bro, I'm talking to you. I look down, and I see a, a little black <laughs> nose. I'm like, what the hell is that? That's crazy. That's dope. Well, I'm excited. I can't wait to race with you guys. Should okay, be fun. Questions for you. Give me the camera. Uh, so what you gonna race? What class you racing? Are uh, you racing spark But I have to upgrade my cage, so we'll see. So I need to get some seat time first. You gotta upgrade your engine already too. You haven't even started it. Don't tell him all that. Oh look, the baby panda. Hey baby panda. Hey, he's right here. He came out. You looking to eat? He just came out one back in. Okay, so if you're gonna race sport front wheel drive, and you're on aluminum, you're gonna need aluminum rod. Tell him what I'm on right now. You're on a Sains. We'll talk about that when the engine blows. You're on a Sains steel rod, which was meant for like a street setup. So right. The problem is, is that I started building this car. Trash panda. You see it? Yeah, he's walking out. He got a bald spot. That's a baby. Yeah. Yeah. He got a bald spot. Okay, so talk about it. All right, so basically, I'm on steel rods right now, and I need to be running aluminum. But it's because when I started building this car, it wasn't supposed to be as crazy as what it is now. And what turbo was it on when you started building it? Well, when I first started, it was on a 6266. Okay, and then what happened after that? And then the engine blew on the Evo. Okay. So then I was like, I'm not going to put a stock turbo with a built engine. Okay. So then I put the 6266 on the Evo, and then I went with the 6870 on the Civic. Okay. And then I shortly realized that with the 6870, there's not really much classes I can really be in. I mean, I was going to just do like 950, I guess. But um, these guys here are a bad influence. This is the main one. This is the king of bad influence Literally. right here. And okay, then, so... You upgraded the turbo twice. Once Three you, times. Okay, no, so no, 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 twice. You're twice. Right, you have right. upgraded it twice, right? So yeah. the second turbo never even got a chance to run. Never even got a chance. So you're becoming one of those internet people now. You know that, right? Okay, so basically now you have a 67, what, 85? Yep. So it's a sport front wheel drive slash true street style turbo. It's a, you know, a larger frame turbo. So you plan on running the car like this to get to know the car? Pretty much. You trained this guy, so oh, I just need some some classes. Yeah, J Jason Bello is uh, actually one of my finest apprentices. He got it. So hold on, let me got it down back. So this guy here is building a what is it? A Patreon, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's gonna be doing. I'll be doing. We're a lot. gonna see if we get him to, to teach classes on driving. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. I think that'll be dope. I think we're gonna teach. Uh, right now, I want to just share basically the stuff that I know because I get like a lot of DMs. Like my Instagram is flooded with DMs and like. I try not to be rude to people. I try to answer as many people, but it's hard because you got so much shit going on. Like I'm working nonstop. Yep, I know the feeling. You know, today it might look like I'm sitting down doing nothing, but I'm <laughs> in the machine shop, okay? And we're doing. And I'm making him wait. He's mad. I'm making him wait. No, I mean I'm not mad. I'm not oh, mad. mad. Jose Bello <laughs> is mad. my welcome to. <laughs> Jose Bello the is shop. my great friend, and if you know He's JBR mad. engines, their work is top notch. Their hundred percent stuff better. He's so but, I agree. But. But here comes the part where I'm not sucking. No up. cursing You're gonna now. You're going to have to wait. Right? Oh, everyone knows that. You're going to have to wait. True. And I'm his boy for sure, okay? I've been with him since since he was he was in the he was in his house building engines in the basement when he was home from work. Before he even had the dream and went after building engines full time and opening a machine shop and starting a machine shop, I was there. You all heard okay? it first. You That's heard my that. boy for sure. My boy for sure. So, if I'm waiting, I promise you everybody is waiting. That's how it goes. 100%. Man is busy, and if you want your stuff done by the best, then you're gonna have to wait. So today we're sitting down outside the machine shop, and we're shooting the shit with Joanna and her car, but <clears throat> we're working. We might be sitting here, it might be looking like we're hanging out with trash pandas and stuff, but we're not. <laughs> but with we'll all seriousness, the Patreon thing is, is cool. You actually put me onto this. Definitely. And, uh, I think it'd be good. You know, I can share my information with people and actually it would be beneficial for both parties. Mascot. Look at the mascot. Literally. Look, he's trying to go hang out in my car. He just walked inside. He literally, he went to go clock in. That's what it is. The night shift is here. The night shift crew is here. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, look, six o'clock. He he's look, two minutes early. That's so funny. You can't even see it from here. Oh, yeah, you can. That's it. 
so there you guys heard it y'all got a little bit of knowledge from rob got to know him a little bit um really cool guy and right now they're getting ready to pack my parachutes i've never done this before this is something i'm gonna have to learn and supposedly you need a shoestring so what, what are we doing with the shoestring <laughs> bro those shoes are dusty it looks like they've been through a lot your car is yeah. fucking dusty that is true <laughs> It actually is. She got red wing fucking insoles and everything. The shoes look like they've been running miles over there. Carry me. <laughs> so what do we do with the shoestring? Take this like this. Run it through the tail right there. I gotta learn how to do all this stuff. This it doesn't seem like fun. Busters. Oh, it is. people that race in sport for one drive this tell them how to pack their fucking shoes. Jason. Plenty of people that don't know. I've seen I him pack I've seen him pack his shoes. Right, Rob's doing the laundry here. <laughs> this cute. I think Rob doesn't have it. <laughs> My bloodline is like lots of shit. Oh, so you do it like that? I didn't do all that. So then, when I press the lever, this pops out, right? I'll show you. They were green? These shoelaces were green? Green. Jesus Christ. You would have been better off saying they were white. I, I got a fucking buy machine. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Okay. Okay, so oh. that tail right there is what the cable runs through. This cable? Yep. So that's why you need the string, so you can get that through all these beautiful holes. This tail hole. So this is my permanent string. This is my good luck string. string. I'm gonna show you where you put it in the car too. Okay. So it never it never disappears. Gonna go for the rest okay. of the life. Where it goes? Take it like this. Take it like that. Never lose it. There you go. And it stays Perfect. Now I'll never lose it. That's it. Thank you very much. Nice. Alright, right, let's use let's use come on, let's use that um I please no no bagato. Let's use that crossfit, super crossfit. Let's go! This is the closest I'm gonna feel to driving. There you go. For a while. <laughs> Dang! Look at this. That is dirty. Wow. That's disgusting. This is how long he's been sitting. Alright, good. So I got the car all loaded up. Huge shout out to Rob and Jason for helping me load this thing up. We are ready to go. I'm gonna head out now to got the performance so we can uh, drop this thing off, let him work his magic. And then we will be picking it up next week and taking it to Rob to get an alignment. And then from there, it goes to, and then from there it's me going to Mark P shop where Randy's gonna be doing all the wiring. And there is when I'll be telling you guys about the new ECU, showing you guys the harness, tons of more updates. Alright guys, we're finally driving. I got the car back there. You guys can see it. Get y'all in the rear view. Look at that. You see that? Nice and clear. Officially driving now to Gato. It's been a long day, man. Long day of driving and I still have to unload this car and then return the trailer. But man, I just want to give a huge shout out again to JBR Engines. Huge shout out to Rob and everyone who helped me with this car. It's finally coming together. We're getting this last few pieces to the puzzle and soon we'll be freaking on the dyno and driving and oh my gosh I can't wait so it was really cool today I had a great time and really Rob inspired me a lot hearing some of the stuff he said and let's just get this car on the road and let me get to driving because this has been a long journey a long freaking time building so we'll see man I love Florida sometimes look how beautiful it looks today it's such a nice day I've got about 46 minutes until we get there um 
I'll try to record a little bit, talk with Gato, and then probably end the vlog because it's getting dark and I know it's going to be dark before. All right, guys, so I'm here with the owner of Gato Performance. You can make these manifolds and several other things you guys may have heard of him. So we're going to be doing a few different things. Um, he's obviously going to be doing the up pipe for the turbo and then obviously the charge pipe as well. And then we're going to go ahead and remove this blow valve because I no longer need this anymore since so it's not going to be a street car. Um, and again, probably be messing with the fuel cell that's here. Put this down. I'm going to have to relocate this to the back. So here goes the shop. And here is where the intakes are made. That's so cool. Look at that. So these are the intake. Yeah. And then the manifolds, where are those? Oh, that's a different that's machine. Not, that's a secret spot. Okay, that's a secret spot. <laughs> I can't see that today. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. So here's his shop and pretty much where all the stuff is machined. And literally how he makes this. I have to shine it up. It looks yeah. a little dusty. A little bit of Yeah, literally, literally you have to put a little bit of that. But he makes these for four and for eight injectors. I'm going to be running eight injectors on this setup. I need more fuel. Um, it comes with the fuel rail and everything. So it's super cool to come to the shop and see how pretty much all this stuff is made so um i think that's pretty much it right we're just doing the charge pipe the up pipe for the turbo right and then the fuel cell Ready to the yep so i think i'm in the eights you think someone run eights we'll see we'll see guys I'm, I'm gonna be happy to just run nines but i don't know if the engine's ready to run eights <laughs> gonna leave the car here for a few days he's gonna take care of that and as soon as his work is done it's time to do all the wiring and then from there we hit the dyno and then from there we do my first track day so I'm looking really forward to that if you guys don't know he, he makes a lot of stuff pretty much but you can't buy it directly to him but he makes tons of stuff his, his products is sales, really really good sales I got the performance.com if you're interested in any of the parts not hit me up I can help you guys up as well we can get something going all right guys so that's it for today's video you all saw me bring the civic home and all of that stuff so pretty much right now i'm at gp1 racing and you have to stay tuned for the next video because um we've got the car wired up and a few other things so be on the lookout i should have that video posted very soon thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you all who are subscribed who are staying up to date i know i have been slacking on content but I'm working on it and we got tons of updates to come on the Civic. So stay tuned for the next video.